Let us get started on the first Jenny Ballerina Core hairstyle. This works best on second day hair onwards because you need that tackiness of the grease of your hair. So for the girls that's lazy, this is perfect for you. I started off with some volumizing powder. Don't get it in your mouth because it does not taste good. Section your hair into two sides and then just clip one side out so you can work on the other side. And of course, section your bangs out and start on the pigtails. I just put it right behind my ears and yeah, pretty simple. You're gonna do it on both sides and adjust it to your liking. I just literally pull it so that it moves to the same level. Now onto the fun part which is the ribbons. I am choosing white today because it goes with my top. When you cut the ribbons, make sure both ribbons are the same length and make sure they're longer than your, your pigtails because you're gonna be braiding and so it's gonna get shorter as you braid. When braiding, make sure that the ribbons are in the front so that it shows from the front view of your braids and this was probably a bit more challenging than I expected but as you practice it gets easier over time Stretch, brush my hair and make sure to pull out the braids so that it looks puffier and more volumized on the end of each side you're gonna tie a small bow so that it looks very cute and dainty this is the final look it is so cute and it's giving very much ballerina core very much jenny 2023 i really like that this hair is perfect for any bad hair day because my hair is a mess all the time and i'm always looking for new hairstyles that work for hair that doesn't look the best and this one is perfect for those days and I think this look is perfect for any brunch or any picnic days where you want to take pictures and look cute and innocent. I am living through this ballerina core madness. Next hairstyle is very simple and easy to achieve. In this video, we're doing the simple hairstyles first and then going on to the harder ones later in the video. I started off by undoing my braids, leaving only the pigtails left and I just went in to fix the ribbons on the very top of my pigtails. Mm. Then you're gonna go in with a scissor and cut those ribbons because Jenny had hers pretty short like this and make sure both sides are the same length because I definitely did not do that the first time. So just keep going in and just measuring them and, and cut them how you want and that's such an easy hairstyle this part is optional but you can go in with a strainer and strain it and curl it at the bottom as well to give it that you know effortless curl at the ends voila this is a very very simple hairstyle that you can throw on in literally five seconds usually i wouldn't go for pigtail hairstyles but the ribbons really give that detail that makes it sophisticated classy and very effortless at the same time this hairstyle is one of my favorites in this video what you're going to do is section the front pieces of your hair from your ear onwards on both sides like this you can also clip your hair back so it's easier to style as well Onto the main bay of this event is this wax and this comb combination. Right here, you just put it in the front sections of your hair so that it gives that very shiny effect and also keeps your hair in place. Using a rat tail comb, I'm going to be combing it back like this and placing the hair where I like it to go. And then you're going to put both ends at the back of your head and just tie it up so that it stays in place. After you're happy with the placement of your hair, let your hair down and go back in with the volumizing powder and just rub it in. I already like this look like this. It's giving Emily in Paris coming at this hair for her season finale. So this is like such an iconic and effortless hair look. Then you're going to clip away the top section of your hair leaving only the ends and start braiding the side pieces that's going to go on top of your head. A tip I have for this is that try to see if it works with that angle and then start the braiding.
now that the braids are done, there you have it. It's this hair stuff. Just kidding. You can go back with this bobby pin and just place your hair where you want it to go. You can play around with it a lot and even if your braids don't look too perfect, you can still adjust it to your liking and play around with the bobby pin. So once you start playing around with it, you're going to find that it's not as challenging as it looks. Just clip it on wherever you want the braids to go. Now you're going to let down the top of your hair and this is what it looks like. Then you're going to insert the ribbons in one of the braids and then just make a cute little bow. It's crucial to make sure the bow is a tiny, tiny bow because it will be proportional to the rest of your hair. And just make sure it's the same length on both sides and there you have it. hairstyle is legit one of my favorites out of this entire video first off you're gonna section the front pieces of your hair basically your current bangs and put everything behind your head next we're gonna go back in with the wax in the front pieces of your hair this will help the braids stay in place as well as help make the split ends not stick out too much Once you finish braiding, you're going to go in with an elastic that is the same shade as your hair. Let down your hair and now we're going to work on the half up half two. Put the hair wax on the upper part of your hair like so, so that your baby hair will stay in place. I really like to separate the hair when doing this because it's in the back of my head so I want to make sure that the sections are perfectly the way I want it to be and then I just comb it down in order to create that half up half do and tie it the back of my hair like so. Once you do so, you're going to grab a big bow like this. This one has a clip in the back so it's very easy to use and just put it on top of your ponytail. Let down the rest of your hair and voila! I was so shocked that this hair looks so good. It was giving me very much Hello Kitty vibes. I'm not sure why, maybe the bow in the back, but this will be my go-to hairstyle now because it's just effortless and very Y2K at the same time. This is my favorite hairstyle of the video and also the hardest one yet. Firstly, you're going to section the top part of your hair and then clip the rest of your hair out of your face, like so. Onto the top braid, section a portion of your hair like this. I have breakage so I could not braid it to the very end but if you don't have breakage like me, <laughs> braid it to the very end and then use an elastic that is a similar color to your hair and just secure it in place. And then do the same thing on the other side. Then section the upper layer in half like so. Pull that half back like so in order to create those pigtails that Jenny has. Now that both sides are even, you're going to go back in with the wax to coat the hair so that it looks glossy and braided over and over and over and over. It's a lot of braiding with this hair. You have four braids all together in the front and in the back. Now we're going to turn those braids into bows. Take the braid and flip it over to create half the bow and secure it in place. Once it's secure, you're going to flip it over like this and twist the tail down. Once you start liking how it looks, secure everything in place, especially the tail as well. It should look something like this. I didn't like how the top bow was really upright, so I secured it with another bobby pin. Now on to the ribbons. The first mistake I did with this was using a really short ribbon. You should try to use something longer or else you can't really make a bow with it. I was ambitious and tried to use a shorter bow because I didn't want to waste my ribbons. 
So use a long one and then cut them like so. This is such a cute hairstyle. It's very Y2K and ballerina again, but like it's so cute. I am obsessed and also flexing my five head was good. I feel like maturity means kind of appreciating your flaws and nowadays I've been appreciating my big forehead more and it honestly feels really great to not give myself shit for my flaws but appreciate them instead and this hairstyle definitely pushes me to do so. To our next hairstyle this one is an easy one make two braids on the top of your head and then section your hair into two parts in order to create those high pigtails Once you like the positioning of your pigtails, you're going to braid them down like so and secure them with an elastic band. Make sure to go in and stretch out your braids as well so they look more full and puffy. These are the six hairstyles from Jenny Kim that I have been loving and I hope that this will make your red hair days turn into the perfect hair day for you. That is all the hairstyles I have for you guys today and thank you for being here and I will see your beautiful faces next week. Bye!